Hello and welcome back to Engineeringly. In this video, you're going to learn how to create progress charts or progress reports for your projects or portfolios using Google Sheet. As you can see in here, I have check boxes for each phase or each stage of my project. So for example, if I take the implementation of the first project in here is completed, then as you can see, the percentages will change. And if I complete the handover as well, the project would be at 100%, which means that the project is delivered. In the meantime, if I uncheck any of the parts in here, for example, the handover is not completed and also the implementation is still in progress. As you can see, the percentage, the color coding and everything changes. So if you want to create dynamic and visually appealing dashboards and progress reports like this, make sure to stick till the end of this video. So in here, I have copied the exact project names from the previous sheet. So first of all, what I need to do is I'll insert checkboxes for all of the project stages in here. For that purpose, I have selected all of this, go to insert and from below here, I'll click the checkbox. So these checkboxes are in a blue color. In case you wanted to change them to another color, for example, let's say this red color, you can just change the font color and it will be changed. So in the next step, we are going to write down a formula for the overall progress in here. The formula will be the amount or the number of tasks completed divided by the total number of tasks in here. So that would be equal sign count if open parenthesis select this range in here if the criteria in here is true then we will divide this by the total number of tasks whatever number of tasks are in here true would mean that the checkbox is checked and false would mean that it's not checked so then i'll divide it by the total number of tasks for that purpose i'll write the count a function and then count all the cells in here, press enter. And then what I need to do is to make sure that this is properly working. For example, let's select the feasibility study to be completed. As you can see, there are four stages and one stage is completed. It's a 25% completion. Also, if you make the implementation checked, it will show the exact same progress in here. Now I'll apply it to the rest of the cells check any of this and as you can see everything is updated now the last part of this video will be to apply a conditional formatting here in order to color code them to make sure that if something is in progress it should be shown in a different color or something is below 50 percent it'd be shown a different color for that purpose we'll use the conditional formatting so i have selected this area go to format and then Pick conditional formatting. So from down here, the minimum value should be a number, should be zero, and should be shown in red. And also the midpoint should be 50%. I'll pick number again here, 0 0.5. This should be in a yellowish color. And also the maximum value, again a number, it should be one or a hundred percent. And for that one, we should have the green color. Then let's say done. Now, if I update the status of these, as you can see, this should be shown green color. And also if I make this, for example, checked and check this, as you can see, everything will be updated. This brings us to the end of our video today. If you found the content of this video helpful, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also following us on Instagram and LinkedIn for more project management, civil engineering and data analysis insights and tips. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.